key represents one of my businesses and I'm giving it to you. Which one of my businesses do you want? Seriously, it's a question that we're going to answer today because this is also something that I need to know. All right, as you guys know, or some of you may not know, I am developing a community, all right? It's a business community, and the whole goal is to help you get to basically $10,000 a month in side hustle income, all right? I'm gonna give you a no bullshit blueprint to basically make it happen, but it's not a one-size-fits-all solution, right? It's not a one-size-fits-all business. And the one thing you need to understand is that in order to make $10,000 or $5,000 or $20,000 or $100,000 extra month, it is going to require you to do some work. Nothing is passive in terms of income that I know of, right? There's no business that I know of that you can basically do it, set it and forget it other than like investing or I guess real estate would be the closest thing, right? I've got real estate. I make about $250,000 a year in passive income because I had cash. I bought real estate, commercial real estate, and then I leased it out, but it doesn't come without its headaches. It also doesn't come without its work. It also requires you to have some cash. All right, and so real estate is one of those things where if you've got cash, that's king, right? You've heard that saying, right? Right now, the whole like use the bank's money in order to buy things and then pay the, it doesn't work right now because of the interest rates. They're too high and that whole like formula that everybody's teaching you in terms of how to basically make money with real estate, it's not, uh, it's not an option right now. But that being said, you are gonna have to work, all right? I've been building out this community, like I mentioned in the last vlog, and it is absolutely going to be amazing. But the thing that I'm trying to get my handle or my hands around is what verticals or which businesses are the most interesting to you. My thinking is that they're basically going to be five different businesses or business options for you to choose from, depending on you, your interest, your personality, how much capital you want to invest, how much time you want to invest. They're really going to be different avenues for different people. And this is something that I feel is incredibly valuable. And it's something that I'm trying to figure out as we speak, which business verticals are you the most interested in? I have done so many things. I actually have a list right here um, of businesses that I, that I've had that I'd like to actually run down. There are about 18 of them. I have owned or had or tried 18 different businesses. I've got experience, I've got knowledge, I've got expertise, and all of these, some of them have been more successful than others. Um, if I would have done some of the earlier businesses now with the knowledge that I have and the skill and the experience, they would have been more successful than they were possibly. But the bottom line is I would like to actually run through these businesses and then we're gonna break it down. We're gonna basically give you the pros and the cons of five or six business options or verticals to see what you would be most interested in. If this key represented one of my million dollar businesses, which one would you want? And don't say the one that makes the most money because the truth is that the one that makes the most money typically requires the most amount of capital to get started. It requires a ton of work. It requires a ton of employees. It is not right and not suited for every person. And that's really what I want to boil down to and get to today. Also, real quick, if you have not signed up for the newsletter and the information and to be part of this community, when we start to actually develop it a little bit further, I've got a special link down below. You've got to go and sign up. As I start to develop out some of these um, guides and free information kits, I want to send them to you to get your feedback, get your information. Hey, is this good? Is this valuable? Does it suck? What could you use? How could we make it better? I also am going to require, not require, I'm going to use you in order to help create this community and build out the functionality and basically the, the different protocols and the, 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 the pillars based around you, your needs, right? We've got different pillars in this community. You know, one is going to be mentality. One is going to be sales and marketing and being the best person you can in terms of personal packaging and presentation. I'm talking, we are going deep. It's also going to be an amazing community that we basically can come together. I'm going to be doing weekly coaching calls where I'm going to get on for two hours at a time, answer questions. I'm going to have like kind of like a lesson each week. It's going to vary. Like I'm going deep. I told you in the last video, this is going to be the biggest thing I've ever done. If you have not signed up for this to be notified when this opens, because that's the other thing I'm limiting it. I'm capping it. It's not about making money. It's about basically creating an environment and a community in order to help you make your money. 
And so it's not going to be like open to like thousands of people. And so if you're interested in getting in early or getting the information that we develop and giving me feedback so that I can improve it, tweak it, and make it the best it can be to help the most people, down below, sign up for the email list. Now, without any further ado, I would like to go over my businesses. I'm just going to run down these because when I was working with my guy that's helping me develop out this program, um, he's like, all the businesses, list them. I want to see, I want to see everything you've done. Like, what do you have experience in and what do people actually find valuable? Um, and so that's why I, I need your help today. Because like I said, I'm trying to create this for you. And in order to do that, I need to know what business vertical you are most interested in. Because if some, like, if like zero people are interested in opening a brick and mortar store or a fitness center or whatever it is, then, then we're not going to do that, right? because there are definitely pros and cons to every business. You just gotta understand that. So now let me actually, I know I'm talking a lot, I'm excited, I'm also caffeinated, and I got a lot to do, a lot to talk about, and I have been working overtime to make this happen. January, like one or two, like the new year, that's when we're hoping to actually launch this. So it's requiring a lot of work, and it is so exciting. I don't remember being this energized and excited in a really long time. And so anyway, this is my passion and this is what I want my legacy to be and what I want to do for basically the rest of my life. <sighs> that being said, here are the businesses that I've done in no particular order. Alpha M, that is my YouTube social media business. I'm an influencer, right? Pros and cons to everything we'll talk about in a second. Pete and Pedro, it started as white label. I started that for $3,000 and this year we're going to do $9 million, all right? It's been 10 years though. We'll talk about pros and cons in a second. I was on uh, season seven for Shark Tank with that business. All right, that's also a great Amazon business. We do over $4 million in Amazon through Pete and Pedro. And so I've got Amazon fulfillment, verticals, ideas. If you're interested in that too, we'll talk about that in a second. I'll give you your options. T. Shanley, custom manufacturer. We built those products from the ground up. We worked with a lab. It's a monthly subscription. Beautiful thing about monthly subscription is that it's reoccurring, right? You acquire a customer, you keep them engaged, you minimize the churn, and you're going to have this customer base that grows and grows and grows. As it grows, your monthly revenue goes up. And the cool thing about a membership website is that you do the work once and, or you spend the money advertising or marketing one time, they're a customer, and then your job just needs to keep them. Unfortunately, there's a thing called churn, which is real. We'll talk about that later. All right, it's a monthly subscription, custom products, skincare. All right, so just think about all these things I'm talking about. What sticks out? What do you think would be amazing if I could teach you or something you think you would be interested in? All right, next, the gym. I had a personal training studio, right? That was something. I also had another business called Move It, which was a group fitness facility that we were actually in the process of franchising. And so if you're somebody that is interested in like brick and mortar businesses or franchising or scaling your existing brick and mortar business, I also would be able to help you with that. All right, now, next up, I had Emma Apparel. All right, this was basically a private label apparel company. I went, I sourced the products, I got my label stuck on it, and then I, and then I marketed it. Um, M Accessories, I sold rings, I sold bracelets, I sold like beaded bracelets, all right? I sourced some of them, some of them were custom, some of them I actually physically sat there and strung beads every single night. For those of you who have one of those beaded bracelets, you are an OG. Um, IamAlphaM.com, which is a membership website, right? And that was the first time when I had IamAlphaM.com that I made basically like $100,000 in my life, right? And I also had some e-products, which I'll talk about in a second, but that part of my life, like when I made $100,000 for the first time, it was like a game changer. I felt literally like I was the richest dude in the world. And that honestly is why that $10,000 kind of threshold is the goal. Now, the cool thing, if you can get to $10,000, if I can help you get to 10 Gs, you can get to 20. If you can get to 20, you can get to 50. If you can get to 50, you can get to 100. You could have a million dollar business but it does go, or it is gonna require work. I'm just telling you, right? Um, you know, the more money you wanna make, honestly, the more work it's gonna require, the more investment in terms of time, not necessarily capital, but time. It is gonna require it. Um, now, let me keep going, all right? I'm Alpha M was a membership website. Enemy, custom sunglasses that I basically went on Alibaba, I found a manufacturer, I tweaked the designs, we customized everything, set up a website, started selling enemy shades, right? Super premium, super high quality. I did this wrong though because I built an expensive product 
that I did not have the margin because I decided to try to compete with cheaper products, which is a bad idea, which the good news is that I learned my lesson. So that's the other thing you need to understand. I know I'm talking a lot, but part of this whole thing and the part of the, the community and the reason why I'm so excited is that I am uniquely qualified to help you in a lot of different areas. I also can help you shortcut a lot of the shortcuts that I didn't have, right? I can help you avoid the speed bumps that I basically hit. I hit every speed bump along the way on, you know, depending on the business. All right, let me keep going. Enemy custom sunglasses. I went to China, manufactured them, sourced them, all that good stuff. Salon Posta, a hair salon. Brick and mortar, another one though, it's good. Real estate, I generate $250,000 a year from commercial rental income. Is that something you're interested in? If it is, you gotta have cash. And so we gotta make you the cash, unfortunately. Alpha M Style System, an info product. I was on Shark Tank for that, right? It was a good business. Unfortunately, the way that I did it at the time, I didn't have the skill or the knowledge to know that having physical DVDs wasn't a great option, right? Now there's so many different options and outlets for you if you're interested in doing a digital product. I also had the mail style guide, which was an e-guide, right? I sold a ton of those. Now, the cool thing with info products is that the barrier to entry is super low. It also doesn't require you to have a lot of cash in order to start it. It's gonna take you some time, it's gonna take you some effort and energy, but the beautiful thing is that with things like ChatGPT and all of the AI that's going on, you can literally write a course like almost like, not almost, you can literally like write a course in like, <laughs> like literally like an hour right now, you've got to tweak it and make it better in your own because chat GPT and AI is good at certain things, but not the nuance and the sexiness, which is where you're going to come in. All right. Uh, Alpha M style system, Menfluential media. I have an advertising agency still going strong, still doing incredible numbers. And that's something that's great. Um, but it requires you to have like connections and all that good stuff. Alpha M Image Consulting, which was an image consulting business that I actually did and had services. I had guys fly in from all over the country. I marketed through Google. I had a website and basically I would take guys shopping, right? It was the first time I was like, hey, I, I think I charged $1,500 per day. And when I was doing that, it was right after I filed bankruptcy. It was right after the gym. And I'm like, what can I do that I can make good money? How much money do I need to make a day in order to really feel like I was making a lot of money? And that was it. Through that, I also started a coaching program where I taught other people in order to do and be image consulting or image consultants. And so that was its own separate entity and business. The next business was the nutrition store. We had three physical locations, but that is a hard business. And I would not recommend anybody get into that right now because of Amazon and the fact that there are a lot of companies out there that are making products and doing it. But the cool thing is that if you are interested in that industry, I have also custom manufactured products, fat burning products specifically. So I have the knowledge and skill to help you basically build out the products or create a product line and then help you market it because that's the other thing. Everything that we talk about for the most part is going to require marketing and it boils down to what do you have an appetite to, for, what are you interested in doing and how involved do you want to be? But those basic, oh, there's one more, the fashion anchor. The fashion anchor were little like glue dots that basically held your collar down. Do you remember that business? Anyway, I think that's it. Is that it? That's it. So as you can see, I have tried and done a lot. And that is why I feel I am qualified to help you. Now, it's gonna require me to really get granular in these different verticals, but that's really what I need to figure out from you. What vertical are you going to be interested in? We're gonna start number one, right? And I'm gonna list all these down below. We're gonna to try to create a list of like five or six. And then based on what you tell me, all right, that's really going to be where I focus and where I basically spend my time and energy developing out the blueprint in order to help you launch it and then market it. Because that's the other thing about this community. It's not just that you buy a course and I'm like this, it's about you buy the course or you come in, gain access, and then together we basically are going to take you through this. And my goal is to help you get up and running in 30 days. That's the other part of this, 30 days with like a money back guarantee. If you do this, 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 you can be up and running. You can have your Shopify store. You can do this, 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 have your bank account, be incorporated, have your articles of organization within 30 days. And if you do that and you're not satisfied, hey, get lost. We're cool. Anyway, I'll give you your money back. So it's all like coming together, but I need to know what vertical you're interested in. Number one is social media 
media influencer, okay? And I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna have all these written down below. I'm gonna need to know from you which one you're interested in. All right, so social media, the upside. If you get big and popular, you can do really well. It's flexible because you do it on your time. The downside is that it's hard. It's hard to gain traction. It's hard to gain eyeballs. It's hard to basically push down that nobody's watching my shit. I'm a failure, I'm gonna stop. Or somebody says something mean and you're like, oh my gosh, I didn't realize that I had pointy ears, right? Because that's the thing. Emotionally, that is one of the hardest businesses to be in. And I can tell you that from experience. Being an influencer, YouTuber, is a daily grind. It is a lot of time, it is a lot of work, but the good news is that it's super low cost to entry, right? Anybody can do it, literally anybody. If you've got a video camera, if you've got a phone, if you're comfortable getting in front of a camera, you can be an influencer. And we're also gonna caveat this, all right? We're gonna have like a 1B, all right? Social media manager for other businesses or companies, all right? I'm gonna throw that in there. All right, social, I gotta write this down, media manager, all right? The upside, low entry to get in, right? No cost, really, other than you going into these, these businesses saying, hey, I can help you, I can basically take over your Instagram or your social media platform, and I can basically help you get the word out, all right? It's a super lucrative business, but it takes you going in, it takes you basically contacting these people, but the cool thing is that it could be virtually, you could do it for people, you know, far and away, or you could do it to people and companies and businesses, brick and mortar businesses in your local area. Give you an example, social media, Salon Posta. We've got a woman that we pay $3,000 a month. She basically comes in twice a month for about two hours, does what she needs to do. She has a team of people with her, like one or two other people that comes with her to basically take pictures and help. And then she basically just sets it and forgets it. She gets a calendar of events and then she schedules literally everything. I believe she has about 10 different clients, all brick and mortar, all in our local area. So think about that. That's $30,000 a month, all right? How much is she working? Basically like 10 hours a week, maybe? And so that is definitely something. And you can scale that. You get a team around you, it's amazing. So I guess number one is social media, either person, you, or manager, you're helping other companies grow. Please specify which one you're interested in. Number two, White label, are you interested in creating your own brand, right? The good news is that depending on what you're interested in, depending on the market, depending on the competition, you could create the next Pete and Pedro. I am literally gonna give you the blueprint on how I did it, right? It started with private label. I literally spent $3,000 to get that off and running and then it started to grow, right? The $3,000 included my initial inventory. It included my packaging and included my little stamps.com like machine, right? It included everything and I was off to the races. Now, the upside is that it doesn't cost a ton of money in order to get into, right? Regardless of what product you're interested, it could be apparel, it could be hats, it could be sunglasses, it could be grooming products, it could be skincare, it could be anything. You could find, we can find, I can teach you how to find and source those products and how to find high quality products and then how to work with the vendor in order to customize it and make it specific and niche to you. And as you grow, you're gonna be placing bigger orders, which means you're gonna be able to customize it because the minimum order quantity isn't going to be as much of a hurdle because that is one of the beautiful things about white label. The minimum order quantity is super low. And then we're gonna teach you how to basically grow that, right? How to sell it, all right? Whether or not it's on your website, whether or not it's on Amazon, which is actually the third business that I wanna talk about. Are you interested in learning how to ship or sell or drop ship or fulfill on Amazon? You know it's sexy, a lot of people are doing it. What I personally think, and this is just from experience, I think you take number two and number three and you combine it, right? Like Pete and Pedro, you're selling your own products, right? You're getting it out there. And I'm gonna teach you a secret to actually get it out there really affordably using other people, other influencers for literally like $2,000. You're gonna get like 30 pieces of content that you then can utilize, whoop, sorry that you then can utilize in order to get out there and basically use that as your marketing collateral. Like, I got the plan. You just gotta tell me what you're interested in. So number three is Amazon. So number two is white label, and it doesn't matter what you're white labeling, it's just white labeling, right? Number three is Amazon. 
I'm gonna combine like two and three because I think it's a natural fit. If you're gonna be selling products, if you wanna sell it, D to C, meaning direct to consumer, you're there having your website, I think it's a no brainer because your margins are gonna be a lot better but the advertising is gonna be a little bit nuanced, a little bit different, but once again, we're gonna be talking about um, advertising as well. Number four is brick and mortar. Is there a business, brick and mortar, that you wanna start? Is it a gym, is it a clothing store, is it whatever? If you do wanna start a brick and mortar business, a few things you need to understand, location, location, location. <laughs> Number two, is typically the opening inventory or capital that you're gonna need in order to facilitate the opening is gonna be higher. The other thing you need to understand is that in order to do that, you're gonna need a larger runway in terms of cash because that is one of the things that I found out when I had my personal training studio but also my group fitness franchise. We didn't have enough cash and so we ran out of runway. You hear that term all the time, right? We didn't have enough runway, or how much runway do you have? Meaning, how much time can you endure not making ends meet or not being profitable before you shut the door? So you're gonna need more cash, but if you're somebody that's already been successful and you just wanna start a business, then I can help you with that. That's number four, all right, brick and mortar. Number five is info product sales. So, 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 so sexy. The other thing about that is that it really doesn't require much money to start. You've just gotta have knowledge, you've gotta be somebody that is willing to put in the time, the effort in order to do it, and then figure out the marketing aspect of it. But the cool thing is that there are websites that are developed and primarily for you or anybody who has an info product to basically put it up there and then you basically just pay a commission to other people who are looking for high ticket prices or, or products or services or courses to sell you're gonna pay them a commission, they're actually going to be selling it or promoting it to their audience. And so it's like, that's a really low barrier product, right? Info product, it's what a lot of these people that you see pitching and selling things online are talking about. It's all about the info product. It's all about creating, doing the work once, modifying it, changing it, depending on what your audience says, and then just selling it. Now, the one thing I will also say is that a lot of people think that there's just like a set it and forget it, right? Where if you find an ad that works, you just keep dumping money at it and you're just gonna make a gazillion dollars. Not true. You are gonna have to do a lot of testing. A lot of the things that we're gonna talk about does require you to go in there and get granular and test, but we're gonna talk about the marketing. We're gonna talk about paid ads. We're gonna talk about Amazon ads. We're gonna talk about social media influencer ads, how to do it, how to save money doing it, and how to realize when you're doing it wrong and when to pull the plug, because one of the worst things you can do is spend money that isn't coming back to you, right? And this is one of the things that I've learned time and time and time and time and time again. And so I can help you not do that. Quick shirt change, I was getting a little hot and sweaty. Last, I think, but certainly not least, number six is custom manufacturing, all right? Because this is different than, you know, the white label, private labeling, right? And so if you're interested in creating a product, right? and doing it and going down the custom manufacturing route, I wanna know that as well, right? Now, you could do a custom manufacturing product that you sell on Amazon, or you could sell a subscription or whatever, right? That's one of the things. Like, doing a subscription is one of the things that we can talk about depending on what business you're going to be in. Because honestly, the subscription aspect of like every business, if you can figure out a mechanism or an angle to that, it is incredibly valuable because every day you're not starting from zero. You're starting from what you had the day before, the month before. And so one thing that I've learned through T. Shanley and also Pete and Pedro, because Pete and Pedro does have a very heavy um, uh, um, subscription component to it. We literally are at like $50,000 a month on reoccurring subscription. Some of it's Amazon, some of it's on our website. Anyway, if you're interested in figuring out how to make that business or that model that you have, subscription focused or is there a way to utilize your audience and, and make it some type of subscription? Is there some type of offering, right? Anyway, lots of stuff going on, but if you're interested in custom manufacturing, I wanna know that down below, all right? So here are your options, all right? One through six, and if I miss something, if there's another business, say, yo, Alpha, seven, this is what I'm interested in actually doing. All right, real estate, I think it takes too much cash, there's too much nuance, and there's a lot of risk involved. All of these, I think the risk can be managed. All of these are going to vary in terms of your time commitment, also how much money you have, and how comfortable you are doing the work and getting in front of the camera, right? So number one, 
influencer, social media influencer, or B, social media manager. Ad is a great business. Every business needs social media presence. And if you can come in, you don't even have to be an expert at it and actually be that person. You just need to know more than they do. You're going to be good. Number two is white labeling. All right, create a product, white label, low barrier to entry, create a website, do a Shopify store, and then possibly sell it on Amazon, sell it on your, sell it on your website, which brings me to number three, Amazon. Number four is brick and mortar. Number five is info product sales. And number six is custom manufacturing. Out of those six businesses, which one would you be the most interested if I had the key and I decided to hand it to you? Because essentially that's kind of what I'm trying to build and what I'm trying to do. All right, down below, let me know. All right, let me know. Say one and tell me why and tell me what. If there's a specific, the more information you can give me, the better job I can do creating and building out this, this course, this system, and kind of like the, the, the choose your own adventure model that I'm really thinking is gonna be the most valuable. But anyway, I'm super pumped. If you can't tell, I'm excited. Down below, like I said, if you haven't signed up for the link yet or the email list, go do that. As we develop things, the free offers and the giveaways and things like that, I'm gonna be sending them to this. I'm also gonna be asking you for input and feedback in order to make my product, which is going to be me, offering this information the best it possibly can be. Can be because that's the one thing I've learned through all these businesses is you've got to be open to feedback and your customers will tell you when things are good, but they're also going to tell you when they're bad. In the world of reviews, you cannot you cannot ignore things. You can't turn a blind eye. They say the customer is always right. <laughs> That's actually not true. The customers are wrong a lot of times. And sometimes the customers are jerks. Uh, but you've got to have impeccable customer service and you've got to treat customers like literally they're gold because they are. All right, if you treat them poorly, if you don't provide a good product or a good service, they're gonna yell it from the rooftops. But if you provi provide a good one, they're gonna roll with you and they're also gonna be there to buy your next product or iteration, which is something else we'll talk about in the empire. Gentlemen, hit the link down below, make sure to sign up, and down below, let me know what business you want me to hand you the key.